Lovely. So now we're up to step two, and this is creating a logo. Now, a logo is a very important element to building your own business online. So we need to spend a bit of time, but there's a couple of quick and easy ways that we can do it to make a nice logo for ourselves without a huge amount of work. So let's get straight into what that is. All right, lovely. So you can just go to a website known as canva.com. Okay, you can Google that canva. All right, and you got canva.com. All right, so you can get started with that. And you will be taken to a default screen, I should say like this. And all I did was I type in the word logo. Okay, and it comes up with a number of different ideas. Okay, and that we can use to start with the creation of our logo. Now, I've gone for the name Blend for Life. So I want something that gives that nice, vibrant feel, that good, warm, happy vibe that we'll be wanting to try and aim at. Okay, obviously, we don't want to try and be aiming at dogs. Um, we want to try and aim at something that just looks like this. Oh, there we go, like that. That's um, unique. It seems a bit more vintage. I'm going to have a bit more of a look and see what I can try and find. Something that catches my attention. This is nice as well. I like that one. Okay, you want to try and find something with a little bit of a unique design that encompasses who and what you're about because the, the logo will help represent who you are long term. I like that one too. And then once you've gone through and you've had a look, oh, I really like that one. That one's very nice. You then choose one. The logo is a very important element to your business. You should always be very mindful of that because it's what people will remember about you um, and who you are. So I really like this one. I am actually going with this one. All right. So then we, the good thing is we've done the template. So we put in blend for life. Okay. And uh, I'm going to move this. I'm going to delete this other one. Alright, I'm going to make it a bit larger. Again, we can always resize this if need be, but, and it's centerized. Okay, so I might make the text a little bit smaller. I do want it on one line. Okay, so let's, that's better. Oh, no, it's not. 7264, there we go. Alright, so now we have a nice logo. Okay, now it's... Now, we want to keep that together. I just like the way that it feels, that really nice, vibrant feel about it. And we're just going to go with that. You can add a little bit of um, extra elements in that to it as well. That's what's incredibly good about Canva. You can add a lot of different things okay, to it, and you can easily swap and change as you sort of see fit. They have many free things within this that you can use to help build your logo. But for now, we're just going to start with that and we can download it, okay? And you can download it as a PNG, which I would recommend you do. Uh, PNG files are best for that. And we just close that. Okay, and now we have successfully made um, our logo. Now to upload the logo, I'm going to show you that once we get, once we've installed the new theme and get that all set up accordingly. But if you ever want to make a logo, just use canva.com. It is extremely quick, extremely easy and free. I recommend that you should all use that to help make your logo. Let's move on to the next step. Step number three is to install Day Beautify. Okay, this is a 100% free theme that allows you to have pretty much a perfectly branded store all set up out of the box within a minute um, and it's completely free. So I'm going to show you how to install that, how to get that set up now, really quick, really easy so that we can get our store set up and start looking at importing products.